this video, we will continue with implicit differentiation. You will find this on page 500 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. The equation of a curve is 2x squared plus 3xy plus y squared equals 3. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 2, negative 1, giving your answer in this form, where a, b, and c are integers. Okay, so first we're going to differentiate. Remember, that's your product rule. So there I product rule, and I do exactly like um, the implicit differentiation of the um, previous videos. Okay, there I got my derivative function. Now, at 2, negative 1. The difference is that we now substitute both. Where we, in chapter 6, we only substitute the x value. Now to find the gradient, we substitute the x as well as the y value. Because in our differentiated equation is an x and a y. And that is the gradient of the tangent. And now, if I want to find the equation, can you still remember the formula? I put, and I put that point in. That point 2 and negative 1. And this is going to be my x1. And this is going to be my y1. Okay, so we basically just substitute it there. Okay, so and then I just simplify it. I get rid of the fractions. Uh, and I keep it just like the form they said. So first the x, then the y, then the constant, then equals 0. Okay. And then show that the curve has no um, stationary points. So I take the differentiated um, equation and I put it equal to zero. Okay, remember what I said? Put it over one. And if you cross multiply, then you will find this. Okay, actually what you will find is you will find negative 4x minus 3y and you will get the zero. And then if you take it over, you will get this. Okay, and now you substitute this in the original equation. And if you do that, what will happen? This will not, because it will lead to an, a, a negative square root. So there's no other, it's just non, non real roots. So the curve has no stationary points. And that's how you prove it. Okay, I want you to stop the video. Um, I think this number one is not so difficult. It's more or less like number B. But I want you to do number two. So stop the video and do number two. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, number two. A curve has equation plus Okay, find the equation of the normal, okay, keep this in mind, to the curve at the point 1 and 2. Okay, but first thing that we're going to do is we're going to differentiate. So, we're going to say d, this is a x, so over dx, and we differentiate this one. You can also put the 3 in front. Okay, don't forget, that's the product rule. So, I'm going to plus... I rewrite the first one, I differentiate the second one, dy over dx. Remember, you're not finished, plus I rewrite the second one, I differentiate the first one. I differentiate this one and I differentiate this one to x and this is 16. Okay, now I do it. So this one is going to be 3, 1 over x. Plus, because it's all positive, it's fine. I can leave out the bracket. So it's just going to be 6x. That is going to be the 1. And then dy over dx. 
plus uh, y. This one is just going to be 6. This one is going to be 2y. Oh, and look, I always check myself. I forgot the dy over dx. In the second step, I check myself. Okay, so as soon as I differentiate 2y, I must remember that. So this is going to be, uh, okay, where am I? Okay, it's 2y, that's correct. And then it's just going to be dy over dx. And that is going to be 0. Okay, so if I simplify this, this is 3 over x. This is going to be 6x, not necessarily this step. I think it's already very obvious. 6y plus 2y dy over dx. And that's equal to 0. Okay. So there is my dy's dx. There is this. Okay, so I take out dy over dx. And this is going to be 6x plus 2y. And if I take this over, negative 3 over x minus 6y. Okay, and then I divide. But now, to get it a little bit more simple, I don't think it's really so necessary, but I think I'm going to do it. To get it more simple, I'm going to make this denominator the same. So I multiply x and I multiply x. So I get basically dy over dx. Okay, so this is going to be negative 3 minus 6xy over x multiply. Remember this is over 1. So it's 1 over 6x plus 2y. Okay. Oh, that x is not nice. So this is going to be then negative 3 minus 6xy. And if you multiply, remember there's a bracket. It's going to be 6x squared. And if you multiply this, it's 2xy. Okay. Now, this is my differentiated equation. Now, let's just go on. Um, find the equation of the normal to the curve. So... Now, first, before we go into, we're first going to say at, let's just write it, at, now what is that point? 1 and 2, the gradient of the tangent. We're first going to find the gradient of, not the normal, remember the normal and the tangent is perpendicular. That means they cut intersects with 90 degrees. The tangent Okay, and I'm just going to write it here. So it's going to be negative 3, and in the place of x, remember that's x, this is y. So in the place of x, I'm going to put a 1, and in the place of y, I'm going to put a 2. In the place of x, I'm going to put a 1. In the place of y, I'm going to put a 2. And then this is going to be, okay, so this is going to be negative 3, negative 12. And this is going to be 6 plus 2, it's 4. And that's going to be negative 15 over 10. And if I simplify that, that is going to be negative 3 over 2. But remember, that's the tan tangent. So therefore, the gradient, I want to move it a little bit up. The gradient of the normal is positive, positive, different signs, and reciprocal. Okay, because as soon as you did it, now if you have to find the equation, remember, they want the equation. Then, if it's, if it's going to be y minus y1, then you can just substitute this m. You don't have to say 1 over m and the sign's different. So it's just m and then x minus x1. So remember, that is going to be m now. And don't forget that your point 1 and 2 is going to be x1, y1. So let's substitute that. So that's going to be y minus 2 
and M, remember, it's the normal now, so that's why it's the reciprocal on different signs. And then it's X minus 1. Okay. And then it's going to be Y minus 2. So it's 2 over 3X minus 2 over 3. Okay. So, uh, okay, now I'm just going to... Okay, let, let's first simplify this. I think it's better to first do that. So it's minus 2 over 3 plus 2. Oh, this is a long. It's not necessary that you write it so long. So it's y equals 2 over 3x. Now, as soon as you simplify this one, you are going to get 4 over 3 because it's 1 it times there with 3, 3. You see it's 6 minus 2, so it's going to be 4 over 3. Okay, so minus 2 and 6, is, it's going to be positive 4 over 3. But now, why I did that, keep it, if I want to get rid of the denominator. So I'm going to get 3y equals 2x plus 4. But always write it in the form they want. So they want it first the x, then the y, then the constant. So therefore, um, 2x minus 3y. I'm taking everything to this side to get this one positive or to let it stay positive plus 4, and it doesn't matter, okay, because the 0, you can put it on the other side, but that is going to be your final answer, because always read your question again, as soon as you are finished, to see if you were answering to get, um, the question correctly, give your answer in the form ax plus bx plus c equals 0, where a and b c are integers, and that's basically what I did in the final answer, that's how you do it.